I'm not quite confident, okay, that it all doesn't matter. So we'd have to have some way to force them to defend their principle, you know. I mean, should people who believe suffering doesn't matter be mocked and laughed at and ridiculed, or should we open the jar of smallpox? I mean, I might not be able to convince people of antinatalism tomorrow, but I'm sure as hell not going to have any problem convincing them that I shouldn't open the jar of smallpox. You get the last laugh, obviously, because you've negated the horror. You've negated anything to feel bad about. The baby can fall into the bed of nails, and who the fuck cares? So, you know, I can't get to somebody who doesn't believe it matters. There's no way. You can give me a piece of logic that's indestructible. I don't think it's going to be, it matters not a jot. I don't think that's going to do it, though. Constructing this sentence was a completely different kind of experience than having needles stuck in my eye. I lose consciousness in a sense when I'm concentrating and thinking and you know my brow furrows. I become less conscious, not more conscious. And it's when that screaming, crazy, motherfucking, insane thing starts, that whistle starts blowing. You're just saying that it's all actors and there's nothing else. Well, when they make a movie, there's a guy with a whistle. He blows whistles. The grips are different than the actors. It's more to this fucking production than your actors. We feel, and then we feel sometimes like um, actor or actors off a stage watching an interaction between two other actors on the stage, all on the stage. You get, you know, there's nothing in my analogy there isn't wild. There's nothing that has anything to do with the reality, in my opinion. You're just not, you're not recognizing the distinct differences between these mechanisms. Even the differences between conceptual programming, thoughts, ideas, connections, and conditioned, you know, the more emotive, passionate, desirous kind of things, the avarice and the fear thing. These are different kinds of mechanisms. They're just not, you can't just say it's actor one, actor two, actor three. They're different frickin' things. Because it's our, our, it's very tricky, our experience of life is, but that is what our experience of life is. And that's how it feels, I can guarantee, because I do it and I'm so normal, but that's how you, whoever you might be, have that. Maybe that's the difference, but I don't buy that. I don't buy that argument. You've talked about your, you have a bad back. You've talked about, you know, think, I mean, there's no way you haven't experienced distractingly debilitating discomfort. Sorry, that's just not a good enough explanation of life on Earth, okay? There's stuff that's loony, there's stuff that ain't loony. There's stuff that's been built logically brick by brick by brick, slowly.